Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another day in my life in Florida. I have some big news for you guys. I'll wait for Brian for the biggest news. He's taking a shower. But let me tell you, Brian and I have been alone in this big house, Brian's parents' house, very beautiful, for almost two weeks now because Jim and Jenny are in Colorado. And I guess Jim is just a little bit concerned and worried because he left a written list of things to do in the house, for the house, for the plants, for the cats. <laughs> I think it's just a little bit worried, but Jim, you don't have to worry. Like so far, we've only broken one TV. You have two and we lost one cat. Again, you have two. It's all good. No, I'm kidding. We're doing great. I definitely don't vacuum every day, but I have. <laughs> I'm having breakfast now. Today's gonna be a normal day in my life, so I will have to work. And next week, we are going to Colorado too, for one week. Oh, he's here. Colorado. Why are you so tall? You're just short. The news. I'm an aunt, he's an uncle. Uncle Brian! Kylie had a baby, and he's so, 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 so cute. He looks like you. Everyone says the baby looks like me. His name? Hudson. Hudson, like the river. But I have to go. Okay, well, he gave you the big news. So we are going to Colorado to meet Hudson. And it's also, of course, like we're happy to meet Hudson. We're happy to see Kylie. We're happy to see Cody. But he's also very happy to go back to Colorado. He hasn't gone to Colorado. And keep in mind, Colorado is his home. Like that's where he grew up. That's where he lived most of his life. He hasn't gone to Colorado in four years. So it's a very, very long time. I can't even imagine staying away from Rome for four years. I would be like, I wanna go. So it's gonna be really cool. I definitely want to vlog some Colorado days. Maybe not the first two days, it's like, you know, family days, but I will vlog some things. And I'm very excited too, because when we go to Colorado, I'll finally meet Brian's grandparents. There are two grandparents I haven't met yet because they couldn't make it to the wedding and it's really exciting and also a little bit like I'm worried, you know, like ah, people I need to meet, but okay. I do have to start working in 15 minutes, so I'll just have my coffee. One thing that I have been doing here, because here where Brian's parents live, even though it's very beautiful, there aren't a lot of things to do. Plus with the coronavirus, we can't do much. So we have been staying home a lot lately. And guys, I've had my coronavirus days when I was in Italy, full lockdown for two months. And now it's almost like a second lockdown here in Florida. I'm like, I'm good, coronavirus. I shouldn't complain because I am lucky compared to a lot of people, so sorry. But here, look at what I've been doing. Puzzles! I finished a lot of puzzles and now I'm trying to do this one. It's pretty cool. I'll finish my coffee, see you later. I'll see you in a few hours. To be honest, I love this job. I love it because it allows me to travel. It allows me to go places. As long as I have Wi-Fi, I can work. I can really get to know my students. It's like a real relationship with my students. I care about them and I feel like they care about me. So I love it. But I was supposed to have a break. Like I was supposed to go on a cruise this summer. Of course it was canceled and I feel like I haven't had a real break in so long. Even though here in Florida it's cool because when, I, when I'm done working, sometimes if it's not raining because it's tropical and it's summer, if it's not raining, I can go to the pool and I can relax. I feel like I need a proper, proper break. And next week in Colorado, I'll try not to work too much. I'll just do some lessons with the new students or students who really need some lessons, you know, like emergency to pass an exam or stuff like that, but that's it. I'll try to relax a little bit more. And who knows, maybe September, I'm thinking, we might take a real little vacation, like a week somewhere, Southern Italy, Greece. I'm usually all for like, let's go and travel and explore new cities, but I want to sleep. Anyways, time to work. See you later. For lunch, I decided to make brunch. Something quick and easy. So I had bread with hummus, eggs and avocado. And I ate it on the couch. 
<laughs> because I can watch TV. I know I shouldn't do it, but I don't care. Well, now I really wanted to talk and kind of like a little bit open up about my YouTube channel. I don't want to sound like too ambitious, so I don't know how to talk about this, but when I started this YouTube channel, I really had no expectations at all. And then it grew, and then I really started liking it, and I post every week. This channel is not really big, but I do have very loyal followers. I was talking to one of you guys, one of my followers the other day, and he told me like, yeah, Sonia, maybe your channel is not that big, but your community is really, really loyal. And I do agree. Like, if you guys leave comments on my channel, I probably know you, but... I've been feeling like I want to grow more because I know that when you have a bigger channel you have a lot of opportunities to do things that you would never experience because you have visibility so I've been looking at some of my favorite youtubers and they get requests and you can do this you can try this you can try that I'm just a sucker for experiences I just love to try things you know me and I feel like I kind of want that too. I'm jealous. I'm, I'm, maybe I'm just jealous. But sometimes I find myself thinking about it. I'm like, why isn't my channel really growing a lot? I know it sounds so bad and it sounds superficial, but I don't know, I've been doing it for a while now and I feel like I, I would love to see that number grow. I don't want to sound like I am ungrateful because I love you guys and thank you so much for watching. And if you're watching this, you're like, already following me so thank you but i really want to ask for advice what would you like to see do you prefer to see my vlogs do you prefer to see when i just talk about a topic like my previous video or what should i change give me some advice i know maybe you might think like you should start speaking italian maybe but i also know that a lot of you guys like the fact that i speak english because i always write subtitles and it's a great way to practice your english and improve so i don't Okay, I know you don't know, I don't know, nobody knows probably, but if you have any advice, just leave a comment, I'll take it into consideration. Now I need to get changed because we gotta go to the gym. Gym Sonia's ready to go. You ready? Hi. Let's go. We're back home and we worked out. And the guys, I want to share with you the fact that when I work out, I love. What, was, what that? was it? Uh -huh. Cat? Cat. Yes, it's the cat. She pushed a book down the shelf. Okay, Jim. See, it's not me. It's this girl. This little girl. When I work out, I like to listen to podcasts. They're really, really helpful. Okay, first of all, I have a lot of interests. So listening to a podcast is not just a way for me to study and improve my English. No, it's just a hobby. I've been listening to a lot of podcasts, but one of my favorite lately is This Podcast Will Kill You. <laughs> of course. No, it talks about viruses, bacteria, diseases, and it talks about the biology and the history and the future it's so interesting and usually after a workout and i listen to one episode of the podcast i hop in the car and i'm like brian do you want to know what i learned today and i start telling him what i learned so if you want to improve your english i really recommend listening to podcasts find your podcast so useful now i gotta make a video for my other channel italian time Hello everyone! It's Italian time! Oggi parliamo! And I just made my Italian time video. Then I need to cook. I don't know what I want to eat tonight. Honestly, we've been eating the same frozen vegetables for more than a month. I want different vegetables. 
something different but I feel guilty if I have no vegetables so I'm like I should eat vegetables well and then I have another lesson tonight so I better start working see you later I edited that video that I had just shot because I wanted to post it the next day and then I rested a little bit on the couch maybe for one hour then I started making dinner for dinner we had something really simple I think I had swordfish and vegetables and again I ate on the couch but you know already okay people I have one last lesson and I'll see you next time thank you so much for watching and I know you're one of the loyal subscribers so. scrub Oh, you're good. You're a good chicken. You too.